High speed pass. It's fast. <laughs> it's fast like a dark star should be. How's it going guys? We got Dark Star V2 here. <laughs> we, uh, I printed up V2. Um, V1 flew awesome, but um, obviously crashed it. Well, I crashed it a couple times on the CG, just getting it right. And uh, and this one is uh, is a more detailed version. Thomas knocked it out of the park with all these all these detail lines and the panel lines and everything on this beautiful Dark Star. Um, you can see the bottom here. Uh, we got our CG bumps here in the uh, on the intake. Um, we have three uh, 4.3 gram servos. We are controlling in Elevon on the two outers, and we have elevator on the uh, on the back there on the third servo. Uh, super lightweight, like 650 grams, ready to rock and roll. Uh, and this is uh, using twin 40 millimeter X-Fly Galaxy motors, two 20 amp ESCs, and a 1300. I'll show you that. Got a 1300 uh, Z Z battery. So let's. This is going to be the uh, the old launch day. As long as everything goes well. Uh, should should go well because I flew this guy already and uh, and it flew really nice it's the only the only good flying uh, dark star I have ever seen uh, I think there's another one selling but there's some there's some issue uh, with it where they I, I, don't, I don't know if it you can't you can't hand launch it or I don't, I don't really know what the problem is um, but I've never seen one be a hand launchable park flyer. So let's give it a shot. Oh, easy. Easy launch. <laughs> Whoa. See the roll? Oh, boy. It does nothing wrong. Holy. Wow. What an easy to fly plane. It is so smooth. It is locked in. Whoa. Yeah, this was the way to go with the 4.3 gram servos, more than enough uh, uh, torque. Wow. Let me move out just a little bit here. Let's see if I can get some good, some good images of this. A 1300 balance is right in the nose right as far as you can get it. And then uh, the 1500 is probably gonna be optimal. It's gonna sit back just a hair. So this is 50% uh, throttle right here. So you guys, this is a park flyer, guys. Hand launchable park flyer. Cruise around, no big deal. 50%, 50%. Lots of authority. Oh man, this is awesome. I'm so glad I woke up early. Sun rising right now. <laughs> I can feel the wind on my face on that guy. Bring it in. Then we're gonna try the old, uh, the old 1500. Beautiful thing. Guys, wow. Who would have thought? You know, I was always like, 
nervous of of even trying the dark star because of uh because of <coughs> sorry about that i was always nervous about even attempting the dark star because of the just the the airframe like when you see this airframe you look at the small little winglets um and and you just imagine that it's going to be a, a real handful to fly and um but I have to say, this this is one of the biggest surprises I've ever had with a design and fly uh, experience. I, I thought this thing was gonna be a nightmare. I thought it was gonna roll like crazy where it would be uncontrollable. And I thought, oh, Lambo out there. Where did that come from? Um, I thought that the, uh, I thought this thing was just gonna be a beast. I thought it was just gonna be very, very unstable. And to my surprise, it it is just a docile little pussycat, <laughs> for lack of a, a better term. <coughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do a 1500 now. I'm gonna put the 1500 here. Okay, so let's fly this again. <clears throat> I'm just gonna get one more flight in, guys, because you, uh, look at that thing. Look how cool. You can see the two, uh, the two fans. Um, wow. This flies even, well, obviously it flies better than, than, uh, than V1. Um, but, oh, I love it in the dark. I had to print it in dark, 3D lab print. Oh, it's so good. Thomas did such a good job. Look at those panel lines. Oh, this is like, this is really good. This is fun. And the Dark Star from Maverick, I mean, how cool. It doesn't get cooler than this. Oh, look at that, hands off, hands off. <coughs> I gotta get more 1500s. High speed pass. It's fast. <laughs> it's fast like a dark star should be. Oh, God. Oh, you want to impress your friends? <laughs> dark star. <laughs> you bring this to the field? And it's hand launchable, you just chuck it. 650 grams. All right, let's do a uh, minimum radius. Oof, it's sliding, it tail sliding a little bit. All right, let's see what happens when we go up a little bit. Ready? Full back, oh yeah. Oh, it has like, it has total aer aerobatic abilities. Full roll rate, ready? Whoa. And it's not hard to keep orientation in the black. It is not hard. It's super easy to, to, to see what direction. I thought it was gonna be hard to keep orientation. This thing is literally like a spacecraft. Look at this. Wow. This thing is just so freaking cool. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me bring it in. That's the way to do it, guys. 20% throttle and let it stall. Let it stall. Because it does have a, a longer beak on it. It's got that long nose. And um, 
a little bit dirty. Um, so when I typically bring in my planes, I'll bring it in and I'll I'll kind of just plop land it. This this can plop land no 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 problem at all. It can plop, but um, but you you might not want to. You might want to just kind of grease it if you can. So bring it in a little bit high alpha with 20% throttle, and then just allow it to allow it to just bleed off. <sighs> so much fun. This thing is just is just incredible. Yeah, this is going to be available on Colts. Uh, it's a super easy print. I was able to print this in, in three build plates, hence the, uh, the scratch marks and everything, because I get a lot of stringing on my prints because I print so much stuff on every uh, print bed. So, um, yeah, I mean, I only have 250 by 250 by 250 uh, print beds, so I was able to print the whole plane in three prints. And uh, yeah, this thing is gonna be available for you guys. So I hope you hope you like this video and uh, and let me know what you think about this dark star. It is super cool. To